Welcome to Pam's vlog. I'm still pretty new at this and uh, this morning I've asked Jim to film it um, because I'm going to be doing other things and I think it would be difficult for me to try to hold the camera and do this stuff as well. So I have been thinking a lot about we get so many questions about how long does canned foods last? How long does dehydrated food last? And, um, and I, it just really got me to thinking, and I have not thought that much about it because Jim and I use a process of rotation where we like to, um, we date everything, and then we like to pretty much rotate through everything in a couple of years. We have a year's supply of food stored, and um, it takes us about two years to rotate through it because we don't eat exclusively that food. Um, so I went on a hunt this morning out among our uh, canned foods to see the oldest dates that I could find. Um, one, I found 118 is all, um, but I also found these peaches and I knew that they were there. These peaches, I bottled them in 2017. It was really a great year for peaches. <clears throat> and I bought way too many, and um, I probably put up 30 or 40 quarts. And that is more than Jim and I will obviously rotate through in just a couple of years. This year, I wanted to replace some of them, and so another good peach year, and I bottled, I started off with four quarts, I ended up bottling 12 quarts of new peaches for 21. And so the question is, you know, in times of emergency, if we ever have to just rely in terms of what's on our shelves, what if we have some old food? What if we have 2017 peaches? Are they any good? So what happens to a jar of peaches when it sits on the pantry shelf for five years? Well, let's take a look. So first of all, color. Color has changed. And then you may notice that these peaches are sunk to the bottom. These are floating to the top. So what has caused that? Well, these peaches, peaches, all fruits, are filled with air. Um, when we do pie filling, we boil the, the fruit ahead of time and we have watched the little bubbles come up. Someone said it looks like champagne bubbles coming up. And that's because the fruit is filled with air. Now I do raw pack when I do fruits. If you do hot pack, then you drive some of that air out. But over the past five years, what has happened in here is that all the air has been driven out of the peaches and it now resides right up here. Where here, the peaches are still floating up to the top of the jar. And when I was doing the video on canning these peaches, I promised that I would do a taste test on these 2017 uh, peaches. So that's what we're going to do um, today. <clears throat> now, I, are, I know that these are good because um, we have been using them. And so this is not a risk for me. I want to um, smell. And they smell perfectly good. Um, now, when I took the lid off, I don't know if you heard, but there was that rush of air to get inside. That's the first thing. The second thing is the smell test. These are high acid foods, and so there is no danger of botulism. So I do not need to boil these for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to dish a couple of these peaches with some juice into a bowl. Now, um, granted, the color on this is not really wonderful. But I can tell what they are, and, um, and they smell pretty good. And so I'm going to do the same thing. No, notice my rings. I get a lot of questions on this, too. Uh, USDA says not to store your jarred food with the rings in place. And that is because if there's any kind of bacterial contamination, produces a gas, and it wants to pop that seal, break the seal, if the ring is clamped down tight, it can't do that, and so that poses a danger. The lids need to be able to break seal if there's anything um, kinky going on in here. I have over 600 jars. I don't have room for 600 rings anywhere. I leave them on the jars, but notice how loose they are. I just loosen them way, way up so that if they're going to um, pop, they will. All right, so I'm going to compare that with these peaches that I canned just last week. So here we go, two jars of peaches. 
two bowls of peach testing. So I brought in a little piece of a fresh peach so that I can compare. And of course you know that when food is canned, it changes the texture and the taste. And so all of us know what a fresh peach tastes like. Sweet, delicious, and um, the texture is all together it's not super firm like a carrot or anything, but it's soft enough that you can almost squish it against the top of your mouth with your tongue and it releases all of that delicious juice. Okay, next is the peaches that I just canned last week. Also quite soft. The degree of softness is just about the very same as a fresh peach. The taste is quite different. The taste is a little bit um, washed out, um, of course, because it's been sitting in water. And I just barely, barely sweetened the syrup here. It was, um, I think, a 10% syrup, which was um, pretty close to natural peach juice. And um, that's how I love these peaches, actually. These 2017 peaches they, um, the color is off. Someone said, well, if you put vitamin C in the jars, the color would not go off. So color doesn't bother me so long as it's not, you know, like khaki green or something. Very much softer, much softer. I can certainly tell that it is a peach. Sweetness is about the same here. I don't use a lot of sugar in canning. But they are just fine. So, in an emergency situation, if we had these peaches on our shelf that were five years old, they would be perfectly fine. Okay, I found a couple of other things I want to show you. I found some pulled pork, which was canned <clears throat> in um, December of 18. Now, I'm not going to open this. I am very confident that it is still way okay. Um, we have gone through almost, I think I did 16 or 17 quarts of this, and when I have that much in pints along with all of the other meat that I have canned. 16 or 17 quarts is a part of our year's supply of pints of meat and so it is still well within the range. Now here's one that I found and I think I hope that this is the last one of its kind. This is ground beef that I canned, are you ready for this, in 2009. This is 12 years old, 12 years old. First examine the color. Now it has onions in it. The white at the top is uh, the fat that sometimes rises to the top if I don't get enough of it out and it is fine, it has not hurt a thing. It looks just fine. So I'm gonna open it. So we're gonna listen for the rush of air. And it was there, it was slight. Okay, check on the top. The hamburger on the top has discolored because it has been out of the liquid. So is it still good or not? Well, let me give it the smell test. <clears throat> it smells perfectly good, perfectly good. I am 100% confident that this meat is okay. Now, what would I use this meat for? Um, first of all, the other part of safety, especially when you're opening up something like this, I do not even begin to think that there's any botulism in here. <clears throat> I'm a very safe canner and I follow the USDA guidelines in terms of how long to process. I'm 100% confident that this is safe, but I am not so confident that I want to taste it until after I have boiled it for 10 minutes to give it that extra safety test. And then uh, once I heat this up in a pan, um, which I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to come back and we'll give it a taste test. So we'll be back in a minute. 
So the meat has boiled for um, 10 minutes and it really looks pretty good. Um, someone asked, well, doesn't it ruin the texture and the taste of the meat? And again, what happens when we can any food is it does change the texture and the taste. Um, this tastes pretty much like cooked hamburger. So I'm going to go ahead and give this 12 year old canned hamburger or uh, ground beef a little taste. It still has really good texture. It has the texture of, of cooked hamburger. The flavor is good. I can still taste the influence of the onion. I would use this in any recipe I wanted. Still good after 12 years. Now, some people would cringe at using 12-year-old canned meat, and I get that. Um, we have no more that's that old. I went thoroughly through everything. I found two or three pints in recent weeks that are dated um, for, from nine years old until 12 years old. This was the oldest that I have found. But I'm glad to know that it lasts a really, really long time. That does not mean that I would ever put it out there intending it to last that long because we like to rotate through things. So those are my thoughts on how long canned food lasts. And the bottom line is, and, and what I just hate, I hate to give any date to people when they ask, because it really depends. It really depends. Now, our food storage is out in our garage. It gets down to 40 at night in the wintertime, um, sometimes below that, so we have a little space heater that we put right in where the, the jars of canned food are. And in the summertime, it gets sometimes in the high 90s. And so it's way beyond what... Um, uh, good storage should be. But you know what? That's all we can do. And we're not going to not do it because the temperature isn't the right um, amount out there. So we just do what we can with what we have. And the food stays the same. There's food value here. Of course, it's not the same food value as when it was fresh, but boy, it'll taste awfully good in, in an emergency situation where we had to rely on it. So those are my thoughts regarding um, taste testing food that is a little bit older out on our shelves. So I hope that this helps you understand a little bit more about how canned food will last and also a little bit more about how the safety of storing foods over the long term. So I'll see you at my next vlog.